Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I feel that the Devin Alexander, Jesus Soto Carras fight scheduled for this weekend, simply put, is unbettable. I think we get a little bit carried away on favorites. Uh, the reality, in my opinion, is that at a world-class level, between guys who have been contenders, right, either guy has at least a 10% chance of winning. Right, this is a sport where Carl Thompson beat David Hay, where Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson, and on and on and on. Upsets happen. Champions and former champions lose fights. Now here, Devin Alexander, who I expect to win the fight, is a minus 900 favorite. So what the casino is telling you is that if these guys fought 10 times, Devin Alexander would win 9 of the 10. In my opinion, the casinos have taken the profit-making opportunities out of the fight. Let's talk about styles, why Devin Alexander should dominate this fight. I understand Soto Carras beat Andre Berto, but understand Andre Berto really was fighting on fumes there toward the end of his career. I guess his career is still ongoing. But Berto was not the most efficient fighter. Berto had had a series of fights where he was being severely tested, right? Let me point out, too, that Soto Carras's fights look great against stationary opponents. So, the Marcus Maidana fight. Marcus Maidana doesn't move a lot around the ring, right? So what you're seeing is a fight where the guys are basically slugging it out. Soto Carras is an overachiever. What that means to me is he doesn't have a lot of, you know, uh, elite talent, right? Let's be blunt here. His hand speed's not the best. His foot speed is not the best. He doesn't have great power. He sports less than a 50% KO ratio. So, of course, he's been in some fights, the Selkuk Aiden fight, where he's in against the guy and he's brave, he's fearless. So he's in there throwing big shots and trading with guys who are willing to trade with him because he doesn't hit like Keith Thurman. So the fights tend to be exciting. Now, I mentioned Keith Thurman. Soto Carras is coming off of a devastating loss, a knockout loss in the ninth round to Keith Thurman. And what separated the two men in that fight was Thurman's lateral movement. Right? Thurman can move around the ring. So too can Devin Alexander. Take a hard look at Alexander's fight against Randall Bailey, where it's a lopsided fight because Devin Alexander is skillfully moving around the the ring, right? Devin Alexander's movement here is going to be key. I don't believe he's going to be set in one place long enough for Soto Carras to actually load up and find him in the ring, right? I think the movement is going to give Alexander a clear advantage, and it should be target practice for Alexander in terms of hand speed because he's much faster than Soto Carras. Keep in mind, too, Alexander is a southpaw. So Alexander is bringing a dynamic that is going to give Soto Carras even more problems in the ring. Don't be fooled by Alexander's loss to Sean Porter. Sean Porter is much more mobile in the ring than Soto Carras. Sean Porter can fight low, which is something Soto Carras could not do. So Porter was able to be episodic. He was able to get inside. He was able to get underneath Devin Alexander's jab, and he was able to uh, work Devin Alexander's body. Sean Porter's not in the ring here, right? Soto Carras, foot speed-wise, is molasses compared to the much faster Sean Porter. 
I'm expecting as a boxing fan. Devin Alexander to put on a clinic in this one and to win, but as a gambler, I can't bet on the fight because I do have to say the odds fully price in the Devin Alexander victory. I don't want to bet $100 to win $10 or something ridiculous like that on Devin Alexander, right? There's simply too much risk involved when you have elite guys who have fought major competition and understand Soto Karras has fought, Keith Thurman, he's fought, you know, Selkuk Aiden, he uh, has fought Marcus Maidana, he's already been in the ring with elite fighters, right? I would argue that all such fighters have at least a 10% chance of winning a fight. Keep in mind too, sometimes fights are won on lucky punches, sometimes fights are won on injuries. Right, a guy gets a busted up eye, can't continue, etc. Right? To me, the odds don't allow a bet on the fight. But as I watch the fight, I'll be expecting Devin Alexander to dominate. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.